A few years ago, I maxed my Iron Man, but now I'm back. To obtain the best gear, complete combat achievements, and waste time filling out the collection log. Welcome to the Iron Man Endgame. It is time to take on the Inferno. I have read your comments for years now about my silly cheesecake. And today we end this meme. By the end of this video, I will have that stupid, slightly more burnt cheesecake and we can give it a rest. And I started it all the way back in early 2023, even before my twisted bow. So I'm actually starting off with a bofa and that's why the gear will change dramatically throughout this video. And trust me, this was a very crazy ordeal. So sit back and enjoy my suffering. Before we even get into real attempts, I just wanted to jump in and get familiar with my surroundings. So I marked all the tiles I need, figured out where I wanted to stand, and I really wanted to hammer home how the blobs work because they're very strange. There is no monster that works like them in the game. I need to get comfortable with them now. Otherwise they will be a pain in my ass in the later waves. So I just thought I would play around with them for like 30, 40 minutes before I even do real attempts and kind of just get their timings down. I also made sure to try out trapping the melee a couple times. Obviously I am not optimal at all at anything, but trust me, I will get better, please. Just give me some time. And after about an hour of getting my feet wet, I felt comfortable enough to send my first real attempt. Seeing my first rangers, which, you know, they're basically just a giant pool of HP for my blood barrage whenever I make mistakes. They're not that scary. And surprisingly, I actually got to majors for the first time already, which I didn't think I would. I thought I would die at like wave five. But yeah, I made it all the way to wave 41, which, you know, I was pretty happy about that first try. And it was like three in the morning at that point. So I called it a night. You know, there's always tomorrow. Bright and early, I sent another attempt. And this death was a crucial learning experience for me because it was the first time I saw the Mage Revive special. Like, the Majors have a chance of reviving mobs. And yeah, I, I didn't really know how it worked. I thought it, like, changed the attack cycle. But now I know it doesn't. But at the time, it really, like, screwed me up. So... I started my flick slate and I died, but we got up to wave 46, so not bad. If I learned something on a run, then it was a good run. This melee trap is sick, dude. I am safe. We meet again. Major on wave 46. You're not going to trick me this time. Uh, my supplies are looking terrible. Uh, I got two brews left. There was um one wave, I, I think like maybe wave 40 where I, I had to do like, you know, the alt flicking with the major and the blob at the same time. And for some reason, I was just out of sync every time I went out there. So that cost me like two full brews. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully we can make it to wave 50, but I'm getting to some tough waves soon. Um, I think there's another double blob in two more waves, I think 48. So if I can make it past that, I, I know I can probably get to like... 50 51 i don't know just for my skill level right now i feel like whenever there's blobs out there that's when i have the chance of dying or at least doing something terribly wrong and taking a lot of damage when it's the waves without any blobs i i feel safe you know i feel i feel good damn okay i suck <laughs> i may suck but the next run oh beautiful Oh baby, my first mage and ranger. This stack is really easy. I can just say spot this one. Oh, we're getting up there, man. Yo, another easy stack. The bat right there is saving me from having to flick between them. That's so nice. Another change with the Inferno when I'm up this high, you know, past wave 50, is when I'm barraging the nibblers at the start of the wave, I don't really want to have the ancestral robes on. Uh, it's just significantly less range defense, right? I mean, I can just show you. For example, um, this is what I use in the early waves, right? Uh, 212 range defense, pretty decent, but because a major and a ranger can spawn at the same time, and you know, it's random, you wanna start with prey mage, obviously. So having the crystal legs on gives that, you know, 20-ish percent extra range defense, so it'll help you survive more often. 
Um, the ancestral robes are just to make the nibblers a little bit easier, and uh, I don't think that's worth it, you know? Wave 50 plus. I will still use it when I'm, like, barraging for HP back, though. Okay, I made it to wave 54, and I got my first stack of a major and a ranger. Uh, I'm on a weird side. Uh, every time I've seen, like, a solve for this, they're on the north side of the pillar, and they're down here. So, hopefully, the strategy works the same. We'll, we'll find out. But um, I think when you have a stack of this, you want to stand on the middle tile of the pillar. And then you want to start with the prayer of the guy in the back. And you want to pray against the first monster when you see the animation of the back one. Literally, I can get stacked like 100 plus damage if I fuck up, so... This is the true test. This is probably the hardest part of the Inferno so far for me. If I can beat this wave, my confidence is going to be through the roof. But I'm not going to let this ruin my night if I can't get it. We'll have plenty of more opportunities to get this down. Okay, you know what? Just to be safe, I'm going to overbrew. I mean, I'm so low anyway, whatever. Here we go. Oh my god, I got it. First try. Okay, so it did work. Uh, so yeah, I guess now I know. If, uh, if I'm on a different side than what I've been seeing, it still works. The strategy still works. That's awesome. We're making it to 55. Oh, I think it's over. I think it's over. Wait. I don't know if the Major can see me there. Oh, there's the pillar. No! Yeah, it's over, guys. It's over. <laughs> oh. I lost my South Pillar so early. I, I probably would have survived there if I had that pillar, because... I tried running to the opposite of the west pillar, it just wasn't it. Yeah, I lost the south pillar at like 48 or something, so... Yeah, I mean, huge improvements though. My PB went from a 47 to 56. That's a huge jump in so little attempts. That was only attempt number 5. Let's go. I learned a lot. I learned a lot there. A lot of new scenarios, um, and uh, I guess just one thing I need to consistently work on is just get better at the nibblers. Like, sometimes sometimes it's worth risking and just running out and just try to get the flicks down. I mean, it's good practice anyway. Um, yeah, I just cannot let my pillars die like that. Awesome. I will say, like, 56 is uh, definitely another, like, difficult wave. Like, uh, it's got the two blobs. It's good to know that if I beat this wave on another attempt, surely I'll get even higher than that because... After a double blob wave, in my opinion, it does feel a lot easier. So maybe once we pass this again, we'll get to 60. Okay, well, I don't have the clip, but the very next attempt, I died on wave 24. I know, embarrassing. Um, I got blasted from trying to flick the blobs while attempting to grab the nibblers. Ah, that was not worth it. So I kind of retract what I just said. I shouldn't go on hero rescue missions all the time. I need to be a little picky, but in a grind like this, you have ups and downs, and the next attempt was definitely an up. That's alright, dude. Oh my god, my first ever wave 60 and above. I'm not angry at that. I had, like, no bruise at the start of, like, 56, 57, so... Yeah, I mean, that was amazing. I've only done it once, but I feel like I uh, I beat the 56 wall that I hit. So uh, the next one is probably going to be 63. That is arguably the hardest wave in the Inferno, and we're getting really close. Hopefully in the next few attempts we can see it. All right, now we are entering what I'm going to call the big boy waves. 61, 62, and 63 are all absolute hell. It throws everything you've seen so far at you at once with 63 culminating in a double blob wave. These next few attempts are gonna be the real test. From my knowledge of the Inferno, if I can beat these three, I will make it to Jad's. This is gonna be the toughest challenge yet. But considering I already got to 61, I'm confident. We'll do it. And the very next attempt, I hit wave 62. A new personal best. So at this point, I kinda of needed a breather, so I took a two week break. And I was doing chambers at the time, and I got an ancestral top, which is an upgrade over the legs. So on future runs, I started bringing that. Back to the Inferno. My next two were not so good. Died at 59, missing a flick. 
And then I also died at 53 in the next one. But I wasn't going to let those two runs ruin my night, so I decided to do another one. I have not been recording this run. Let's record it, because this is insane, bro. Not going to... Oh, fuck. I didn't save spot the melee. Going south. I uh, clicked the wrong... Why did I triple brute? Middle tile. Click the back. Oh, God. I went the wrong way. What kind of tile am I moving, bro? <laughs> We're not talking about what just occurred, okay? And it actually kind of spooned because I didn't take any damage and now I get to flick the melee, so. <laughs> what is this spawn? What is happening right now? Oh, shit. I'm going to have the melee animage on me. Or? Or? Oh, my God. You can't. You can't make this up. That was the easiest way for the entire Inferno. <laughs> what in the world? All right, well, we beat 63. Let's go. I was so lucky the ranger was there. The ranger corner trapped him for me, basically, because I don't, I didn't go to the right tile. I got, like, flustered. I mean, you're not wrong, KW. You know, I, my galaxy brain knew that I would get meleeed on that tile, so that's why I stood there. Yeah, you're right. I, I Einstein that shit. Dies to single Jad? Certainly possible. It's been a while since I've done Jad. <laughs> it's certainly possible. We absolutely do not have the supplies to do a Zuck. It would have to be extremely clean. However, getting to Zuck is that motivation I need. Dude, okay, now, now I'm feeling the nerves. Every time I've done Inferno prior, I've never felt nerves. I'm feeling nerves now. Oh, God. Oh, God. No more melees on the Inferno. Except when I get melee from Jed for a 103. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't stand your pillars. Yeah, I'm gonna drag over there. So I log out now, right? We're good? Log out now? Oh, we made it. All right, before I do anything, I gotta watch a Triple Jads video. Triple Jads. I don't know, no monkey. Let's go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh my. Dude, it's, it's all been range. I'm dead. I got off tech. We're fine. We're fine. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So how's your your day, guys? Fantastic. Mine's lovely. Having a wonderful day. Oh, one of the Jads is healing. I just noticed. Shit. Uh, which healer is it? Hold on. Hold on. Which one is it? Does it matter? Am I dead? Spooned. Oh my god. Lucked out there. Which one is it? I thought I clicked. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> which one was on it? That was my bad. Bro, I was focusing so much on the healing, or the, the praying. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I thought I hit the east he the healer. I swear to God, I hit a. I thought I saw the HP above it. Okay. Well, I know I can do triple jets. That was fine. I just bozoed. That's not as bad as I thought it would be, honestly. It was the one closest? Really? I thought I clicked that one. Oh, that's so funny. Because, like, I, I, I struggled to click the far one. So when I did click it, I'm like, checked off in my brain, we're good. And then I got confused. It's fine, you know, whatever. For anyone confused, because I, I definitely was in the moment. Jad was constantly healing, and I was so focused on not dying that I never noticed. I must have never tagged the healer in front of me. Yeah, you know, it happens. <laughs> but hey, massive new PB. We made it to triples. Oh, man. Okay. Nice. That's how I expected triple Jazz to go. We made it. We made it to Zuck. First ever. First ever Zuck. Let's go. Three brews on my first suck. That's pretty good. Restores? Not good. Not good. Oh, I didn't know there was a fucking cutscene. <laughs> this fucking music is throwing me off. Oh, I didn't. I took a suck it. Yep. That was dumb. That was dumb. We're not talking about it, guys. We're not talking about it. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Three hours for that, huh? Jeez. Time to analyze yet another death. So this one is just silly, all right? I have this nibbler tile marked here uh, for some of the waves. It's the tile that you can barrage without, like, the monster south seeing you. You really don't need that marked. I don't know why I have it marked because it just confused me. I, I clicked it during Zuck and that is not a safe spot with the shield at all. You're taking a hit and of course I did. So yeah, I promptly got rid of that tile. Do not worry. This will never happen again.
now that we've made it to Zuck for the first time, I'm going to make some changes to my gear. Now, the blowpipe, so far I've been using amethyst darts, uh, just because I have a ton of them, and they're still pretty good. But we're on the home stretch, so I'm going to be upgrading to dragon darts. I have 3,400 and, like, a ton more uh, tips in the bank as well, so... It's going to be expensive, but I haven't used them at all on this account. Uh, I've been saving them for this moment, so uh, it should give me two max hits. So throughout the entire run, that is going to be nice. And then it's it's mainly for the healers on Zuck. That uh, roughly 10% more DPS is going to be crucial in helping me survive. Another change I'm going to be doing now that we're doing like long runs. Uh, you might be wondering why I haven't been doing this the whole time. The Falador Shield 4. So I can check it. I have two remaining charges for the day. Uh, this is from the Elite Falador Diary. And basically, I can recharge my prayer twice a day. So it is a daily thing. But I, I realistically only do like one attempt a day at this point. So um, this is a lot more than one restore in one inventory slot. So it's going to be a little bit more restores. I don't have to flick as much. Um, and it's going to be really nice. I just never bothered because I wasn't doing long runs anyway. Prayer was never the issue. But now it can be. So I think those two changes will be a little bit of an edge that I'll need to uh, make these runs go a little bit better. So we can have a little bit better Zucks. Surely better than the last one. Oh my god. <laughs> this is an optimal time to show off the power of the Falador Shield. 10 prayer points. The Falador Shield recharges fully. Like I said, twice a day. So boom. Back to 99 and we still have one more to go. And yeah, that's just so much more. Uh, than what I get from a restore. I think it like I think it comes out to maybe like one and a half, maybe one and three quarters restore in one slot. Super nice. Unfortunately, one of the next attempts, I got my very first range mage range stack on wave 65. As far as I know, you have to do some funky stuff to solve it. What my chat was telling me to do is what's called the Z walk, I think. And yeah, I had no clue what was going on and it went terribly and I died. What a waste. That was my cleanest jad. Two mistakes. I fixed it right away. We made it to suck, guys. Second time. Let's fucking go. I'm so happy. I forgot you had a cutscene every time, dude. Oh, I'm drag. I'm hit. I'm hit. Or not. I guess. Oh, fuck. These clicks. They're horrible. I'm so shaky. Is that a Zuck hit? Oh, wow. I was one tile off. That's what happened. Oh, I sent it. Oh, shit. Don't run. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're fine. I think. Maybe. Possibly. I have to tag Jad, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I have the supplies for healers, but... Oh, I'm dead. I went over too fast. All right, that was a great attempt. So many mistakes, but I rectified them. That was fine. That was good. Let's go. I know I can get it now. I, I know I can get it. Let's go, guys. I think, I, honestly, I think next suck I'll get it. I, I think so. Even though that wasn't a clean fight, I mean, I took, I think, two Zuck hits and a Jad hit. It gave me a lot of experience, and it gives me confidence. I can do this. The next day, I got to Zuck once again, but this time I forgot to pause uh, the wave before. So I was, like, thrown into the fight right away, and I wasn't really ready for it, and it really threw me off. Uh, so I, I died pretty quickly. I don't have a clip though. I don't know where it went, but that's fine because very soon after this, I actually got my twisted bow. The fact that I was already getting to Zuck with the bofa and everything, having a twisted bow now really is motivating because it is a lot better uh, than the bofa. The only issue is I don't have any Masori at this point, so it's definitely not as good as it could be, but it is very, very good for the majors, jads, and Zuck. Are you kidding me? Fuck. That's so dumb, dude.
That's hard. That's hard, bro. I am now seven Zucks in, and I got to healers for the first time on number six. I immediately took a 100 right out the gate, right when they started. That did not put me in the best of positions, I would say, but um, I learned a lot. That's all that matters, right? To get better at healers, I have to do them. So first attempt is the first attempt. Sadly, I immediately died afterwards on Zuck number seven. And you know, what do you know? Zuck number eight, I died again. Oh, I suck at this boss. And yeah, at this point, I know I was so close, but it was driving me crazy. Dying to dumb mistakes. It was burning me out. So I had to step away and I didn't come back for nine months. It has been a long, long time since I've been at this bank, but I think it's time to get back into it. Since my last attempt, I changed my gear dramatically. I added the Virtus top, which is better than the Ancestral top here. The Masori top and bottom, which are insanely good for my blowpipe and the Twisted Bow. And I also switched my cape, boots, and ring to maximize my prayer and damage. I will say, I'm sort of nervous to get back into this. Um, I got really good at the waves last time I was here. It's going to be a little bit of learning again, but once I get past the waves, it's really just uh, all about Zuck at that point, which is obviously my problem. So I think this will be finally it, though. We're going to get it. So close, man. So close. I would have had it. I would have had it had I had any more brews. I just didn't have any HP for the last set. I was 9 HP by the time the healer's dead. Oh, that sucks. But I'm really confident. We can get this. I, that was probably my best attempt yet. I beat the entirety of healers. I did everything right. I didn't take a Zuck hit. Um, I did take a Jad hit, but that was fine. Um, the problem was I started that Zuck with only three brews, which that's definitely enough. But I got really unlucky on the healers. They just were slapping me. Uh, the ranger slapped me. So um, if I just had even just one more brew, that would have been it. We're going to get it. I'm not angry. We're going to get it. You know what's even funnier? That was literally my first run back. My very first run. <laughs> Picking that break was so good for my mental, you know? I was able to be a little bit more calm during the Inferno. But I think it's also just a testament to how much better this gear is. Dude, Missouri is... It's bonkers. Fuck! I had it too. I just went way too fast. Fuck me, dude. Zuck ain't shit. Yes, yes, yes! Let's fucking go! Woo! Yes! Oh my fucking god! It's done! It's done! It's done! No way! No way! No way! Oh my god! 
Dude, that was a trek. That was the wildest Zuck I have ever done in my life. I Mind you, this was number 12. Oh my god. My, my head is throbbing right now. I <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna pass out, dude. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's let's collect ourselves. Let's collect ourselves. Oh, we can we can analyze what happened later. Oh, we finally dude, I am so glad. I am so glad I didn't give up. That last death last night was devastating. But I did it. If this doesn't tell you to keep trying, keep trying, guys. I don't consider myself a good player. But I fucking did it. I have the infernal cape. I kept my nerves. It was that one was... I need to take a picture of this. That one was messy, guys. Um, I did everything right, I feel like. But, as per usual, horrendous ranger RNG. I, I'll show it on screen. Uh, he was slapping me. I started Zuck with, like, what, six brews? Some, like, around six? I used all six. That's pretty normal for me. I know people say, you just need four for Zuck. Not for me. I get really unlucky on the ranger. Every time. But, uh... Whatever, I'm not here to complain. Either way, it all came down to this moment right here. I had to take the Major before I got to the safe spot because otherwise he would have killed the shield. So I quickly grabbed him and then I had to hope to God we kill that Ranger there because I'm literally out of food. Thank God I did it. Um, wow, what a cape, guys. Um, and this one, I didn't even get hit by Zuck. So hey, we got the combat achievement, no luck required. Let's go. Deserved, man. I still think I'm not that great of a player, personally. And I'm not here to toot my own horn, but I will say I'm very good at the Inferno Waves. Considering I cleared them literally 14 times, I know them like the back of my hand. And it actually makes me really excited to do Inferno on task. Never thought I'd say that, but when we get back to Slayer, we're going to get more capes. <laughs> I can't wait, dude. This is what we were before. Everyone would just mention my cheese cape. It's fair. It's fair. A max cheese is kind of lame. I get it. But... Considering this saga of this Inferno journey was legitimately 11 months. So people would ask me, hey, where's the Inferno? Why do you have a cheese max cape? And it would like hurt my soul because I've been to Zuck so many times at that point, right? I, I finally, I'm really glad I finally just said fuck it and I came back. There it is. There's the new best in slot melee gear. Oh, it feels so good. Now, uh, I actually am going to be keeping this as the normal Infernal, because I, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the Infernal Max Cape. For some reason, it's really tiny on female characters. So I'm not the biggest fan of that personally, so what I'm going to do is just keep the normal um, until I get a second cape, and then we'll make the, the Max version. I feel so accomplished. It's been a meme on my channel for years now that I've never done the Inferno. It's over, baby! Now, pretty much everywhere, this cape is going to be giving me one max hit. But I am just curious to see, like, how high everything is now. So, off task, Blade of Zelda is a 54. On task, 61. Oh, my God. Uh, Void Waker is 78. This should be, like, an 85. 87. And the big boy, Claws. Damn. Can I hit a 50 on the first hit? 49. Okay. Okay. Another underrated part of the Infernal Cape is the accuracy bonuses. It's plus four in all the melees, which is three above the Fire Cape. So, doesn't sound like much, but that does actually lend itself to a lot of situations. More accuracy is always better. But yeah, it really just brings up the point that we need to continue working on our gear upgrades. Recently, we got the Shadow, we got Masori, but I've been kind of lacking on the melee. Uh, we did get the Altar Ring and now the Cape, so it is looking a lot better, but hey, there, there's Torva. So next is on the horizon. And then of course the best part of all of this. I can drag the cape all the way up and replace that stupid thing right here. I don't need this anymore. I'll just throw it into my junk tab. Over the moon, man.